I've tried his office already. He's not there. He's probably up in his room, sacked out. He's a very heavy sleeper. You want the front desk, ma'am? This is the dining room. What difference does it make? Just ask somebody if they've seen Rex Mancini. This is life or death. All right, I'll try. Hold on. I have an emergency call for Mr. Rex Mancini. Does anyone happen to know when he'll be back? Did you say emergency? Are you a friend of Mr. Mancini's? Well, um, I just saw him about an hour ago. Well, then perhaps you wouldn't mind taking this call. Uh, sure. Hello? Who's this? Who's this? Oh, I should have known. This is Randy, Rex's ex. Remember me? <gasps> yeah, I can forget you. Look, you gotta tell him to call me like yesterday. It'll be a total disaster if he doesn't. What sort of total disaster do you mean? Just tell him they're closing in, okay, sweetheart? They're breathing right down his lousy, lying neck. I gotta go. Uh, Miss Hamby? I'm with the police department. I need to talk to you. Interesting proposition, Raj. Very interesting. I mean, now that you mention it, I, too, have had my problems with Billy Lewis. In the first place, I don't like the lack of respect with which he treats my cousin Nadine. In the second place... I don't think he's paying me what I'm worth. Well, and I bet you think that's quite a lot, don't you? But you'll forgive me if I require a little proof of that before we discuss compensation on our end. Sure, sure. I know. I, I bring you the dirt, you make the mud pies, then we get down to business. Fair enough? Fair enough. I just thought... Whoa, speaking of fair... The fairest damsel in the land. Mm -hmm. Hey. I have a message for you from another damsel in distress. Oh. Lovely Randy. She's quite hysterical. She mentioned something about people breathing down your lousy, lying neck. She wants you to call her right away. Could you give her a message for me? Sure, what? I'm not your bloody answering service. I'm still trying to get the um, documentation for the H.P. Lewis thing. No luck? Yeah. Well, keep trying. If it doesn't pan out, maybe I can come at it from uh, another angle. No, it's too bad that H.P. didn't join us, but on the other hand, it was kind of nice just having lunch with you. Yeah, it was. You know, son, I'm going to be counting on you heavily when this presentation of the award comes off, because Lewis is going to throw one hell of a party. We're going to invite everybody in Springfield. With one major exception. Yep. Roger Thorpe can read about it in the morning papers. You know, he's already smartened from the companies that have jumped Spalding shipped ours. I think this would just be one more thing to push him into an early grave. <laughs> you just love a down and dirty fight, don't you? Oh, don't you? Well, I'll put my dukes up if I have to, but most of the time I'd just rather make do than make war. <laughs> you know, if anybody's inherited your, your taste for combat, it's got to be Mindy. I'll just bet she's... <laughs> She's got some poor fish begging for mercy even as we speak. <laughs> you little bitty fish. <laughs> the hell with it. How did I think you would possibly dare to speak the unspeakable? Eve can do no wrong, I forget. I am not saying that Eve can do no wrong. I'm just not sure she's capable of what you think she did. Either I did it or she did it, Nick. Some things are real basic, and this is one of them. But you go ahead and keep your head stuck in the sand. It's not my problem anymore. No, you know what your problem is? You can't accept a simple apology. No, I've got to badmouth somebody or else it doesn't count. Whoever said love was blind was not just whistling Dixie. Look, we're not standing in some high school playground here, okay? I'm not going to start badmouthing somebody behind their back. I don't think that it's right. You're just embarrassed, Nick. Oh, I mean, because what if I am right and Eve did do it? What does that say about your choice? It's not even about her. It's about your pride. Oh, come on. Grow up. Grow up? You grow up! A lot. This is a new shirt. Oh, I'm so sorry. Send me a bill. <laughs> What's the matter? You need some help? No, I think I'd rather drown. <laughs> Be my guest. So what, you're just gonna leave me here? No, I'll 
call 911 from my car. Don't look now. Take that as a compliment. I've always felt that I've got you, babe, is one of the best oldies around. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I'm always kind of like that. They say we're young and we don't.